For starting this video, I want to thanks to Mental Outlaw because he showed my Reddit script in his video. So thanks a lot, Mental Outlaw. During the lockdown period, I guess when I tried to install Gen2, I found his channel and he's really good with all these Linux things. And thanks a lot, uh, Mental Outlaw, for featuring me in your video. So coming to this video, in this video, I am going to show you a really cool allies which I keep in my ZSH RC and it's really useful. So without wasting any time, I'm going to show you what this allies do is it's a way to search your history of commands quickly. So everyone know in Linux, if you type history, what it's going to do is it's going to show you all the previous commands which you wrote on that particular machine. So I wrote like more than 10,000 commands here so what you can do is you can use this command and pipe it into the cut program and you can use the character set and 8 minus so what this do is it's going to remove 8 character in front from all these lines so now I got rid from all these all these numbers I think there is a if I see man history, there is a way of not showing all these number and just print it directly. I don't remember, but I use this cut command. So what you can do is you can pipe it into fuzzy finder, but before piping it into fuzzy finder, because if I pipe it into fuzzy finder right now and like search LS, so it's going to show me so many LS. So this is not good. So what I'm going to do is before piping it into fuzzy finder, I'm going to sort this and then I'm going to use unique program to just show me the unique commands. So this way I get rid of duplicacy. And if I use fuzzy finder now, so like for example, LS, okay, it's going to show us some duplicate command, but this is because of space. If you focus here, this is ls and this ls space okay this is not a big problem by the way this is cool i am getting it from fuzzy finder what else i can do is i can use this x clip x clip minus selection c to just copy it into my clipboard so like for example i have some command and now it's not going to print it it's going to copy it in my clipboard okay so this is good but there is a one problem with this if i use nano here and if i paste my command so my cursor is in next line so it's uh, it's also copying the next line from there so what i'm going to do is i am going to use tr minus t to delete next line okay and then pipe it into uh, x clip and if i press enter so it's not going to give me any next line i can just use nano to show you that and see it's not giving me any next line from here so now I, what i can do is i can just quickly make a allies of it and if i press enter and use h it's just going to you know work like a charm and i can easily put this into my zshrc so here's the line uh, you have to add this you know forward slash twice because i right now i'm using zshrc also don't use double quotes here because you have to add this double quotes here okay so that's it for this video i hope this little trick work for you and it's it's really a time saver because usually what people do is some people uh, crap from history and this is what I was used to do before. But due to this Elias, I am more quick. Suppose you want to just message some command to your friend. So you can just, you know, use this and find that command quickly. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah Now I'm thinking now, now I'm 